this video we would compare empirical method and classical method by using this example suppose that you roll a safe sided die 500 times and note that our number 2 appears 80 times Uh, first part, use empirical method to compute the probability of obtaining a number two. So, empirical method, the probability of an outcome, in this case, is a two outcome, right? So, the probability would be its relative frequency. So, probability of obtaining a number two would be its relative frequency. And relative frequency is equal to the frequency of the number two divided by the sum of all frequencies. So here we wrote this die 500 times. So this would be our all possible outcomes. So 500, and that would be the denominator. And we have noted that a number two appears 80 times, right? So, yeah. so it would be here. So 80 I'll divide by 500. So that would be equal to 0 0.16 or 16%. So this is empirical method. And for classical method, uh, what we have to do is that we have to first come up with a sample space because we know that in empirical method, we just go with our experiment and see that how many times that required outcome appears in the total and possible outcomes. But for the classical method, we write on a sample space. So because there's a requirement of that equally likely outcome. So each outcome in the sample space should be the same opportunity of appearing. So because we know that it's a six-sided die, so all six-sided so have the same chances to come up when we roll a die. So for six-sided die, so its outcome could be either number one or number two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, in this sample space, so because all the outcomes have the same chances of occurring, so the probability of occurring of two, so that would be equal to the number of times two appears in the sample space, right? The number of times divided by the number of outcomes in a sample space. So we see that, so there's only one number two, right? So there's only one number two, one time it appears. So it will be like say, one. And out of total outcomes, the total outcomes are six. And that would turn out to be 0 0.166. So let's be rounded here. So around like seven. And that would be equal to 16.67%. Uh, 